We're in a field that was reservoir tilled the first week of June and now we're at September 15th. This field has had about 12 inches of rain on it throughout the season and we're in a row now that's been uh, has, has had the reservoir tillage done to it back in June and we're just going to pour some water into one of the depressions and we're going to see how that water migrates around underneath the soil even though it's been three months since this tillage occurred. So I'm going to pour some water in right here and we're just going to pour it in until uh, it seems like it's had enough and that's taking quite a while but we'll continue to pour water in there. Now that water's got to be going someplace so we're going to see if we can determine just where is this water going. And it still wants to continue to absorb water so we'll just keep adding water to there as we go. I'm going to come over here and here here's a spot where another tooth has gone. So we'll dig down into that area there and see what's happening. And my first two spoonfuls here, I'm already picking mud up. You can see that the water is coming in underneath the ground. And it's uh, varying where it's coming from the cracks in here. But we're down three to five inches where the water is seeping in from here. And we've poured almost a gallon into this spot. And we continue to pour water into there. That's one whole gallon. There's actually water pooling at the bottom of this hole over here. You can see the water pooling down inside of there. And it's not flowing over ground. So we'll go along here and we'll find where the other tooth was in. Here's where that was in. You can see water actually in the hole right now. So we know that there's fissures and cracks that go between the teeth. So let's just move over a little bit where we know there is no tooth mark. And obviously the digging is harder here because it has not been tilled. And I'll carefully try to dig down a little bit. Do a core and see what we can come up with here to see if anything's migrating in this direction. And I'll just move over the hole here. To see, I'm down about four inches, so I would imagine if anything is going to migrate, it will do that. We're out of water already. You can see in the other two holes. So I'll put some more water in here. And we see that's filling up those holes. But now the water's starting to come into this hole too, right here. And it's coming from a spot that's oh, two to three inches below this surface right here. So that's how deep that fissure or crack is in there. It lets the water migrate in that direction. And you can see the mud in there. Likewise, we should be able to do it on this side and see similar results. We're at about a gallon and a half of water so far. We'll put some more in there. Be careful not to let it go over the top so it goes above the ground to get where it's going. But this hole is filling in, that hole is filling in. This one is beginning to fill in a little bit. But it's not coming in from the sides, it's coming in from down at the bottom of the hole. So that part is much deeper down there. That is about five inches down. So 
we can see that you know it definitely goes between tooth to tooth here but it also goes into part of the field that was not part of the tillage so it just shows for the, the uh, how it migrates